Hi, I'm Tom Dalton, an actual grown-up person. Well, sort of. And I'm here to help you think about your future. So let me ask you something. Do you know what you want to be when you grow up? Well, if you don't, don't worry about it. All you have to know right now is what you think is fun and interesting. Do you ever wonder how an airplane stays in the air? Or what makes gravity work? Do you ever wonder about things that are too small to see? Or giant machines with a million moving parts? Would you like to design your own video games? Or even make a computer work faster? I'm still looking for the on switch on my computer. Science, technology, engineering, and math are the awesome ways to find out everything you want to know about the universe. And bright minds from around the world are inventing and discovering new things every day right here in Michigan that make our lives better. What would you like to discover? Anything you can think of. You wouldn't have to type or talk. It could just read your mind. I would discover how to keep your shoes from untying. New animals, maybe. Food that can go into a paste bottle that you drink for paste. Maybe like, this probably wouldn't even exist, maybe it already exists, but like a diamond isotope. It would clean up your house for you. I'll take two of those. What would the world be like without math and science? Scientists um, discover new things. If we didn't know math, then we wouldn't know like how much money to give them. Like We wouldn't know like saying 27 or something like that. When we get older, Whatever our job is, we always use it. To multiply the things, you have to um, have a special skills or really good skills to do math. Without math, then you wouldn't have, you, we would all not be as smart as we are now. If you're the kind of kid who likes to know why, you just might be a future scientist or inventor. But don't just take my word for it. How did you get interested in science, technology, and math when you were a kid? Well, growing up, I loved science, and I loved just the exploration part of trying, having a question and finding something out. So that was really what sparked me in science. What do you love the most about working in science and technology? I love that it's different every day. It's always something exciting. It's always something that you can touch and feel and explore, and that you can be innovative with. What can kids in elementary school do to figure out if they're right for science and technology and engineering? Well, I think talking to a lot of people, finding out what their careers are, what they do, and what they like to do. Also, reading is a great way to sort of try on a lot of different ideas and see what you connect with. Think I could be a scientist? Sure. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so don't worry about being a grown-up right now. Just keep exploring Michigan and the world around you. And if you enjoy thinking about how the world works, read everything you can about it. And who knows, you just might discover where all the missing socks go. And uh, could you do it kind of quick? My left foot's getting cold. <laughs>